we are black in America first, and we forget that we're human. And they didn't describe me as anything but big black man. That's the only way they described me, big black man. That's the only thing they ever said. I read that report over and over again, and as I sat down in the county jail, I just started crying. I started crying, and I didn't cry because of where I was sitting. I cried because of how they described me. And I know my mother didn't raise me like that. That's what hurt. What's missing is that black men need support. Black men need encouragement. Black men need um, safe spaces. Black men need to be able to talk about how we feel. You're putting the same officer back on the street. He just beat somebody up, got off. He's back on the neighborhood again patrolling. Now in his mind, oh, I can't be touched. I'm gonna keep on doing this. And they always escalate to more violence, but they keep saying, oh, it's a stressful job. And don't take the job. Don't take this melanin in your skin lightly. Do not take this melanin in your skin lightly. You are a prime product on this earth. Your melanin is so powerful. The same thing that is in the freaking galaxy is in your body. You better find out what melanin does. You are the healer of this earth and you don't even know it. You are a creator and you don't even know it. That's why the police can come and that's why the police will come and knock down your door. You're a high priority item and you don't even know it. It's basically time to put our black men on the forefront of the future, honestly. Like, it's time that we focus on the black man and build him up, because if we do that, we will see the whole world change. I can remember just like yesterday, uh, walking out of my, my grandmother's home, crossing the street, and the police out of nowhere, like, fell out of the sky and just, you know, got me right there. Boom, hands up, this, that, and the other. Back in the day, they used to have a thing where is that if you lived in a certain neighborhood, they would take you to whatever enemies gang related neighborhood and drop you off. Sometimes they would take uh, the color of the rag wherever you were tied on the antenna and then would go on their 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 their, their announcing thing and, and, and broadcast, hey, we got you a crib, hey, we got you a blood. So when I say representation, I need black people to invest in their mental health. It's okay to go talk to somebody. The prayer box is good. The prayer box is good. Put your name in the prayer box, but then go talk to somebody. Definitely been praying that white people would definitely join our side and speak up for us and be our allies. It's not enough to say I'm not a racist, but you have to be anti-racist. These black men will educate you. The question is, are you ready to listen? So please help us tell these stories and the many other stories within this series directly from Black Men. I support our Black Men. I support our Black Men. I support our Black Men. Do you. Welcome to our campaign for Black Men in an American Pandemic. I am Rachel Betts. I am the film director of this project. Thank you for joining us.